coming from. Okay, well you own one of the fastest inboards in Australia. Hang on. Sadie, you ready to go? You're in there. Right, you ready? Okay. You own one of the fastest inboards in Australia and you want to sell it. How come? Oh, I want to go to a bit bigger boat, probably get a bit more speed out of it, and the engine, the boat's only 15 foot long, and it's getting a bit short for the power we're running in it now. Yeah. Uh, any ambitions to go to a higher class? Yeah, we're going to step up. We've already got a, another boat, a KT tunnel hole, similar to the outboards, with an inboard in it now, and we plan on sticking this engine into that boat. Yeah. Are you, uh, you're obviously used to some pretty tight racing. Uh, how close does it get? Well, this course is not too bad because there's a fair bit of room, but where we race at, at home, it's just a single boy course on a river. The river's only about 190 metres wide. When you get eight boats there all at the same time, that's when it starts getting real tight. Yeah. So, uh, what's, the, what's the epitome? What's, what's the, the ultimate ambition? Well, I just got one. I just got my first time, got my 100 mile an hour badge last week at up at Griffith. And, uh, I don't know, the most ambition I think would be to beat a blame boat. Mm. Yeah, so, um, well, this is, uh, yeah, to say. <laughs> Problem child, any particular, um, any particular meaning to the name? Oh, there was a bit of a story to it. There was, um, everyone keeps blaming me mother for it, but it wasn't really her. It came from, uh, the people that build the boat, the Child's Play Marine. Mm -hmm. And, um, all the boats have sort of got something to do with child in them, like child's play and things yeah. like that. Okay. And he just named it for us. Yep. So, uh, well, it's a hell of a hobby, this. It's good fun. It's expensive, but it's good fun. Best of luck. Thanks very much. All right. Thank you very much.